We heard me, me in the apartment with Pale. We in the apartment for real. Hey, Pale. Meet me at the apartment. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. We back. Another episode in the apartments. And you know, goddamn. And like, in the apartment, dog, this shit for the street, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit for niggas who got inspiring stories. Like, you know, niggas who done seen shit, niggas who done done shit. Like, everybody ain't no rapper. Everybody ain't no big rapper. But if you're an entrepreneur, you don't been through something. Your stories and the shit that you've been through can help somebody else who might be in the same situation. So, like, did the first episode we having, what we having, we can't say upcoming order, because my dog been not been popping since, since way back then. Making move, making transition. So I'm gonna say a street artist. Cause my nigga really in the street. You see what I'm saying? And the day my dog hit me. First time soon I put the video up with Euro. He hit me like, hey bro, I come on that motherfucker, dog. I'm talking about immediately. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, shit, you know what? That's what I'm doing it for. The high dialogue with, with, with people who really in this shit, who ain't really made it to the highest level, who still going through this shit, who still taking their trap money and they work money and making their studio shit work, still making moves, still saying I'm going to leave my town. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to chase my dreams. I'm, I'm going to try to get this shit for real. Like, them the people that I want motherfuckers to talk to, because them the streets, them the people who make up the culture. You see what I'm saying? So. And without, with, with further being said, dog, I like to welcome my motherfucking nigga, E. Heard, to the motherfucking pop. Man. Man, what it do? Parlay, I'm gonna do it. Parlay. What are you talking about, man? Why you to play you? Back in the day, yeah. we were leaning and rocking in my hey, hood. Hey, you talking about? For real, before all the gang the shit. Yeah. We was popping our shit. That's we was snapping. Cool. Like, nigga really got down, like, with, fucking with you. But, like, it's a it's a blessing to even be here to kick this shit. No, it's a blessing to even have you, to even for you even want to come on this shit. Yeah, like, you know if, if, uh, people that don't know me, bro, I'm, you heard. You probably see me in the club, in the streets, in the mall. You saw me somewhere. Like, I'm out working my mood, kicking my shit, handling my business. Yeah, yeah. And then you said, goddamn, you said you been staying up how long now in A? Been up about two years, but like, I've been coming up here like forever. Niggas, you moved up here. I had to finally move up there because like, I was always going, you know, mm -hmm. come to the A, see the shit, want to do it. You gotta go it, back home. And then go back home. <laughs> but And that ride back home to Alabama, it's sad. Because you know what you're going back to. Yeah. And the A, you, it's called, you see shit you ain't never seen, Lambo, Roll Royces, you know, the, 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 the women bag, nigga got that shit on, designer, the chain. I know where I'm finna go, it's a bunch of nappy head motherfucker that ready to, <laughs> to try you. Yeah, yeah, they ready broke. to try something. Everybody broke, everybody how, fuck how shit. Big, how big is them? Shit, that be like two Lenny miles, bro. For real? Two Lenny miles. Two you know, Lenny miles. How many screens y'all got in motherfucker? One, two. Man, you can get from one side to another side in like three, four minutes. For real? Yeah. That yeah, motherfucker smile. You in the hood, two, three streets all over, you in another nigga hood. How many in the hood is this, Selma? Selma probably got like five, six hoods. About five, six hoods. Five, six hoods. So they're all over town, east, west, north, south. It like really like the east side of the east side. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like these straight, these crips, Gangsta G, you know, they just. For real, for real with the shit. Now, the east side, them motherfuckers be thugging saying babies. Everybody with that big goddamn light. Nigga, I was in elementary with nigga that was crooks and gangsters and shit. Elementary? Elementary. So that's on the east side? At the east side. All right, all right. Now, my side, like you, I'm from the west side. West side, yeah. I don't give a fuck where you at. The west side is... It, west side, the side. It's that side. West side, the best side. Bro, niggas, everybody trying to get some money. Yeah, hell yeah. You might ever call us a nigga selling something. Yeah. Somebody walking through an alley, counting some money. I grew up watching niggas, like, really hustle. So like so 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 basically like the east side is like the shysty thugging, got them on the Lion King like nigga that's don't go over there in the lands. And it's like east side. And the east side, the east the west side like nigga we get some money, fly car, we got chains on like nigga we we popping this shit. The west side popping that shit, but they with the shit too. But see, okay, because the reason I ask you that because like our west side here is like. Grind me like, nah, you for you from the west side, but I ain't fucking with you. We got and our east side is like the popping, being getting money, fly car, Cartier. Yeah. Like that's the east side here in the city. And on my side, see that idea where we from now, the whole city was back in the day, everybody was getting money. Yeah, yeah. Like the city like that. Yeah. yeah. Back in the day, like nigga went on no type of bullshit. Everybody trying to get some money. That when the money was really rolling, you know what I'm saying? Like, but the west side I would have been like, you got your grinding niggas. 
but them niggas still hustle. So it's like they you on the fuck shit, they with it. But they really trying to get us money. Get some money. Get some paper. Hit the economy picking up the dope thing. I grew up with like nigga, I walked outside. Somebody was picking up a dope thing from in front of your yard. Like cars just pulled over on the side of the street. You just young looking like, why the fuck everybody keep pulling over before running the car? I want to know what's going on. So then when I hit the hood. How old you were? Nine? Man, I was about eight, nine, ten years old. Around that age group, probably eight or nine. I just started walking, seeing shit. But the niggas I really linked up with, my niggas like now, they really bought me into like this street shit for real. Them niggas was getting money back in the day. They were like, them niggas. Everybody in the city fuck with these niggas. The, the mafia? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. These niggas got them, had the gold chain. Eddie. So that's, that's kind of who y'all looked up to. So so moving, if we're going to move forward, we're going to look back. So that's who you looked up to. That's how y'all came up with the uh, uh, Lamigo Le Le boy. boy. The mafia boy. Our big yeah. homie was Church Street Mafia. Okay, all right. There's some blood niggas, a couple gangsters in the clique. Bloods and gangster niggas. You know what I'm saying? GD. But they get money. They got the hoes in the city. They got the car. They get fly every day. They they hustle in the in that shit. Yeah. And like the whole city fuck with them. They in my neighborhood. I'm seeing them nigga down the street partying every day, riding the shit. Back in the day, one folk playing Master P Cash Money type shit. I go up to them nigga one day, trying to I'm like, man, what the hell? What y'all do? Man, what y'all? I'm trying to get some money. The nigga looked at me like, man, like who that, that nigga is? How old you all then? Man, I'm about. 10 years old. A 10. But this around about the same time. Mm -hmm. All right. And they been seeing me, so they know I'm from the neighborhood. And no, I ain't on no bullshit. You know, just a young nigga in the hood. So the nigga used to send me to the store at first. Like, nigga used to be like, man, you want to go to the, wanna make some, want some chips, want some yeah. drink or something? Yeah. Nigga send me with $40 to get about $30 for the snacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And got that, I keep the chain. I'm broke, dead broke. Mm -hmm. My mama got seven kids, we ain't got no daddy. Nigga, I got $10 worth of chain. So my mama got eight kids. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, no $10. Yeah, yeah. Why ain't tell nobody about it? <laughs> Boy, no, you got to spend this shit you say something. Boy, what? I went and bought all the snack, cake, cookies, and sat somewhere and ate that shit till it was gone. Because that shit was like your birthday. Yeah, yeah. But them niggas would get money to the point where like, they noticed me every time. They were like, hey, nigga, run the, get pick up our food. The neighborhood, you know, got the restaurant to sell the chicken tuna, chili fries. Yeah, all that shit. I'm the, I'm the runner. Yeah. I'm like you the store runner. I'm the young nigga. You, go nigga. Get shit, you got to start somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I think I started right there. Nigga, everybody started Nigga don't somewhere. know, like, the, the generation now, everybody making sense they just waking up and just big dog. Yeah. Bro, you have to be a runner. This shit come with this shit. You can't, you can't get a fifth grade without going through kindergarten. Hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Unless you was directly taught that shit. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas like getting the streets then graduate instantly it didn't say goddamn they some bosses like nigga nigga you was in college nigga nigga from your hood knew you nigga cause you was a good boy had you around driving for him cause you know you got the good name yeah and then he just said one day hey man sir these nigga for me and when I got another spot and then you should end up serving packs and now you a big dog no nah, no nah. dog. no nah, dog. Nah. you just a hustler my nigga see when, when I say big dog every nigga from my city or from Montgomery or any part of Alabama even niggas in Atlanta that know me know like that boy came up for real. It wasn't like no, no scamming, no. You had hey, to where I'm from, you really come man. up. All right. Like where I'm from, but like All right. you, you gotta really come up. Like yo, you gotta make your name. Yeah. Like nigga got to know you from that little nigga to that that big nigga. And so it like shit. I ain't mind being a runner, cause I ain't have shit. Like you can't complain, you ain't got nothing. Thanks. And then if you see a nigga with some. I learned like she just watch. I'm like, man, these nigga cool, these nigga laid back. I ain't finna go around them on no, on no hot butt shit. So she, I played my part, and me playing my part is just always. The way you roll it, hold on, hold on. E. Yeah. Finna turn your boys onto the noodle. Yeah, so you roll up from this side. Yeah. That's that's gonna be your bottom part. You smoke out of. Yeah, yeah. Put some weed up a little bit. Put some weed up a little bit. What you roll? You gonna try it with the noodle? Yeah, yeah. Gotta put it on to the noodle. Let me hit you. Let me hit you the noodle one time. You got the animation, the man. Yeah, man. He the man. <laughs> Somebody that motherfucker hit, man. Oh, don't play with him, man. Yeah, don't play with him. Yeah, don't play with him. <laughs> this nigga real hood. Yeah, don't play with him. <laughs> yeah. The real one. The real one. <laughs> dog, you feel me? Hey. Hey, that noodle motherfucker. Man, that motherfucker came up with about 30% on it, dog. That is it. 
That's it, dog. That's it. Listen, I, I experiment with this shit, dog. I don't wrote plenty of blunt, not it, plenty of blunt with it, but tell you, dog. That motherfucker right there changed your life. At the end, how you gonna roll the motherfucker? Hey, I'm fucking with that noodle. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We need a box of noodles before we do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. Put us on the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. So, goddamn, you seeing them niggas, goddamn it, you like put me on, they looking at you all crazy. What was the breaking point where they was just like, you know what, we're gonna fuck this young nigga, he ambitious? It took years and like, I knew these niggas from a, a, a little nigga to a teenager. And like, throughout the years, I played my part. I always I stayed around them. Like, when I saw, once I saw them having. She eating good every day. They, they nigga eat what they want to eat, dress how they want to dress. Everybody always looking at them like they just some superstars. I was like, these do nigga, I'm finna fuck with these nigga. They ain't, I don't see none of them going to jail. You know, they ain't got no beef going on. You know, like everybody fuck with them. It's just a matter of where they move. Yeah, the way they move, I was like, damn, them niggas ain't got no problem and they getting money. This is what I always want to do. And they got the girl. I want the girl. I'm a young nigga, you know, we want the girl back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Played my part, kept going around them nigga. I started rapping. You know what I'm saying? And like elementary. They never knew I could rap at first. Until like year later, we, we went around uh, you know what I'm saying? I told a nigga, like, bro, I wanna rap. I wanna goddamn, we wanna rap with y'all. My partner murdered me, uh, proved my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Look, man, look. Yeah, they yeah, knew the they motherfucker. Knew the motherfucker. <laughs> hey, look, my partner murdered me, uh, free, free the nigga murdered me. Uh, he locked up right now, you know what I'm saying? Nigga had to do like a couple months. Mm -hmm. You know, get back out, run this shit back free up. Homie, free homie. He was the nigga like, he rocked out the click. Everybody knew him. He was hard. He was the first nigga from my city to even do the rap shit. Mm -hmm. I went to him like, boy, I want to fuck with you. I want to rap. I want to be in the click. He was like, all right, I'm going to check you out. He was always busy, though. Mm -hmm. The nigga would get money. Always at a party, studio. He just stayed on the move. He always said he going to check me out. But he wanted to, but he just was on check the move. move. Yeah, yeah. So me, I said I wasn't going to let up. See, this nigga murder me and check me out. Went to the nigga house one day. I want to take a note for an Me and my partner, Daddy, my engineer, my best friend, mm -hmm. we had a fucking speaker, the, the, the old motherfucker, the tape player with the CD player. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, we put the tape. No, matter of fact, it was just the tape. It wasn't no the CD. We didn't even own that motherfucker yet. We got the tape, motherfucker. We play a beat we got for somebody. I freestyled some shit we had been writing out for about a couple weeks. We were citing that shit back then. We made sure we knew it word for word and wrapped that shit soon we opened the door. He said we were hard for the beat some young nigga. And them niggas start fucking with us. Like every time they went in the yo, they made sure we was in that bitch with them. We the younger niggas in there with the bad girls in the city, the older girls. We 12, 13, 14 years old. It girl 20 years old, 22 years old in the studio with us. Yeah. I'm kicking that shit. We rapping. We they putting us on song. We we know we starting to got down, pick up on the shit they doing. So how y'all in now? 12, 13, but how y'all in now? We 13, 14 now, 15. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? We getting we getting up though. You know what I'm saying? So she now people know we were out of school. We middle school, going to high school. Now people like, oh, them boy rap, them boy been rapping, like them boy hard. So she we never stopped. We would like print up CD, go to Walmart, get 200 blank CD. She burn that shit after we make the song. Write that shit on them. Sell them up. Black market motherfucker. Black market, you know what I'm saying? Black market. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And nigga don't know, like, but we made some money. Yeah, we yeah. sell them bitches five dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Six the CD. Something, you know, you get the six CD back in the day. Boy, you that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you from a small town and you can get everybody to buy one and play that shit, you popping, boy. Like, I'm talking about, I done got down, put that shit out there as a young nigga. I wake up outside, hit the hood. Boy, folk riding through that bitch, throwing up the west side, playing my shit. How that shit feel? Boy, that shit feel like you sign the deal. <laughs> you ain't lying, boy. That was the record deal back hey, then. That it, listen, I'm going to tell you something. For those who, who, who haven't, for artists who haven't got that big song yet, Listen to her, man. Stay ambitious. Stay grinding. Stay pushing. If you see somebody you want to get in front of, keep pushing. Keep believing that shit. Even if they turn you down, to keep pushing. Cause it might be something for you. Even if he turn you down, it might be something after that. That shit might inspire you to do something else. You see can't what I'm give saying? Up. You can't give up. You can't. You can't give up. You, you got to be ambitious. You got to take your motherfucking chance. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all what. And for all you niggas who do got music, when you got that first song. And the whole hood fucking with it. And you come outside and the nigga riding around being that shit. And every car riding around being that shit, bro, it ain't feeling like that shit, bro. What? I don't give a fuck. What a nigga say? I don't give a fuck how big you done made it. Ain't shit like your hood fucking with your Hell shit, bro. Nah. Everybody fucking with that and shit, the OG, and, and once the OG let you know what it is, like, especially big dogs in the hood, boy, that's that feeling, bro, because, like, now I got, I got everybody I know fucking with me. Now I'm the nigga. But after, you, after that story, like, you gotta keep this shit up now. See, once you make that name, 
Now you gotta you gotta always have that shit going. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be able to hit the club, pop you some baller. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to keep you some clothes on. You know what I'm saying? Keep your hair cut. So I just always wanted to do that shit. I was like, damn, I wanna be a rapper for real. Once I seen folk playing my shit and fucking with me, I always wanted to just get more money. You know what I'm saying? But like as a young nigga, like you'll get your money, but you'll fuck it up. Yeah. Because you still trying to be a kid too. Yeah, yeah. You like, man, I wanna have some fun. Fuck that. I spend all so you my still money. going to school at this time? I dropped out of school in ninth grade. Yeah. But like shit, because I want some money. My mama couldn't buy no clothes. My best friend would give me his old clothes. They was all, they were fucked up. So like shit, I was like, man, you know what? Fuck this school shit. I ain't got nobody to give me nothing. Yeah. Like, you want me to go to school shit? Put me in some shit. Give me some, you know what I'm saying? Give me some Timbo. Give me some duck head. Yeah. I want some shit. But it went, nobody, you know, my aunt. Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> you said some Timbo, some duck head. Hey, boy, you got some time on you, dog. For real, back in the day. Yeah, you got some time on you, dog. But Definitely. like, I, I just with a nigga, I was like, you know what? If nobody won't give it to me, I'm gonna go get it myself. The hood, everybody selling dope. And this shit look easy, cause niggas is standing on the corner, shaking some rocks in their hand, or got in a mat box, or got in their sock in a plastic bag, and they just passing out a little bit of rocks for 20 and 30, 40 dollars. Mm. Well, I gotta go do that too. Okay, listen, so I wanna do this. Cause like, when people be watching shit, and they be mean artists, there's gonna be some people watch this shit and gonna be like, I ain't know you heard. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And they're gonna check you out, they're gonna pull it up. And a lot of times your videos and interviews, they don't give a good description of really where you're from and how it was. You see what I'm saying? Like I got a movie out called The Trap, you know what I'm saying? With Bank Road Fresh in it. Oh, you yeah, know yeah, I saw that. You know what I'm saying? And 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 to me personally, I think that movie is the best description of Atlanta. Of anything you don't see on camera. Any movie, any document, like that's what the city is. And without that, I don't think niggas really understood how the streets is in Atlanta because niggas see all this book here and all this other shit. So I want to ask you, like, paint a picture, like, give us how it is on your block, like, where your block is, like, how it is, how the streets is, what's the apartments, like, take me to Selma because I ain't never met nobody from Selma before. So I'm trying to, I want to pitch, well, everything you're saying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to vividly picture right, this shit. In. You see what I'm saying? I right, take, take this. You wake up, you walk outside, a dog barking. On, it's a dog on a, somebody in somebody's yard with a chain on it, barking like a motherfucker. You hearing loud music, somebody beating down the block. You hearing a motor, somebody trying to crank up a car that won't crank up. You feel me? The you got the Jay fishing the, the car. The, the, the Jay just away. walking down the road at one point. This back in the day, like everybody yeah. just, one point of time, like they was out there. Like, you want to get some money, but the fiend was walking the block all day. All you had to yeah. do was just come outside. So you you just seeing a bunch of shit, drunk folks, called the street folks, drunk, 7 in the morning, 8 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, they whole neighborhood, either drunk, some dope heads, some pro to be mechanics, and just trap niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Or, or you know, women that just date a nigga. So it's like, the hood really, the biggest shit in the hood, you, you got a box shelf or something hooked up with some little rims on it. 20s on that motherfucker back in the day, you man. know what I'm saying? Like, you the man painted. You got a paint job. But, like, it, we still ain't really doing shit compared to, like, up here, what y'all doing. Mm -hmm. But down now, you doing something. You boy. doing something. Boy, you doing something, you got two, $3,000 back then down now. Yeah. $5,000. Like, nigga, fuck that. $4,000 back then. Like, boy, that was, boy, that nigga got $4,000. Nigga got four bands, boy. Four bands was everything back then. Two bands. Because shit went high as it was back then. Like, it's, where I'm from, nigga, you hit the club. Boy, you can... Buy some bill, boy. You buy everybody some bill, nigga. You, you did it. So it wasn't no like so. Sports and shit wasn't really ain't really big down there like that. Sports, <coughs> like you know, like the high school. You know, you got Selma High and Southside. You know what I'm saying? We got like the older school, like the people niggas from across the river. They go to Southside. You know what I'm saying? They got their own little kind of like city, but it's still Selma, but it the Southside, a whole nother little county mm -hmm. like shit. So on this side, you got this side a little faster than that side. But that's how they good with the sport too. South side, the nigga play ball, they game banging too. That thing about back in the day, niggas eat it all. Niggas that game, niggas play ball, game bang. Nigga went to the skating rink. You know what I'm saying? Nigga got down, walked the hood. We, we, you know, we did regular kids shit and we did other shit. It wasn't just like we was just on some straight trap shit, gang shit. I was hustling, but I still was going, walking the hood, hanging with niggas. You know what I'm saying? Walking on the truck, you know, railroad track. We going to girl. Yeah, you dipping dab, you liking what you're seeing, so you dipping. Yeah, but I'm just learning. Like I'm growing up, I always still want the money though. Do if so, so do the west side and east side nigga goes to the same school, or is is that across the river too? It's like east side. 
we got elementary school called Pine School. That's why I went to. Pine School was straight though. Ain't ain't too many good niggas came to Pine School. If you know what I'm saying, like most of them niggas thuggy. Them niggas still crooks. Them niggas probably been to prison. Most of them niggas done shot somebody. Like it rooted over that bitch. And they doing this shit in elementary. Mm -hmm. But it taught me like how to really just, you know, how to move around niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Like I always why niggas just, I saw a nigga go to boot camp elementary. You know what I'm saying? I'm like fifth grade, fourth grade, these niggas then shot somebody or stole them somewhere. They gone for a couple months. Mm -hmm. So I ain't want to leave. So I always pay attention like that. I ain't doing what that nigga <laughs> That nigga don't want to from Walmart. Yeah, you, got, you smart, dog. <laughs> so why would I go steal from Walmart? They going to send me y'all. I ain't going to bear you no money. It all, Cause I'm, I still want the money. Did from elementary to middle school. Boom. Like east side niggas, they, they, they just throw, you feel what I'm saying? They just really just out there be thug. Nigga want a gun. Nigga want to break down a gun. Nigga want a goat cart. <laughs> yeah, the side, they kind of yeah. like the west side, too, yeah. for real. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's how west side, nigga, everything you saying. See, Selma in Atlanta is like flip flop. Like the west side, niggas is like the east side, niggas you explaining. Yeah. It's like west side, nigga. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm saying that. You know what I'm saying? But like, it just, um, for some reason on our side, most of the niggas that hustle, they dad is hustle. Yeah, so yeah. it's like gener it's generation. Yeah, like, like you, your daddy was running on this block right here. So when you get old, you start running this block. Your dad was on this block, so y'all start restarting. Every nigga, block. every nigga I hung with, they daddy hustle or they uncle yeah. hustle. Like somebody in their family and hustle. on that side, we from in that family hustle, and like it was just regular. It like you will see niggas outside selling dope. He's like real regular back then. You the first hustle at, at, at your at your siblings? Oh yeah, I'm the only like nigga in my family ain't never been in the street. Nobody don't hang in the street. Even though we from the hood, my folks still just always be in the house at they house on the porch. They ain't really with just like going like fucking with folks like I do. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that like shit. I want to go know who everybody is. I want these motherfuckers know me. So like, like white people down there? Not for real. White not people real. like on the outskirts in the country. Yeah. They out there with the horses and cows and shit. That they got that down. shit. That shit crazy, bro. Like the beef from Selma, dog. Like, it's shit for real though. You know what I'm saying? I've been a lot of places, never been to Selma. And the reason I know that because I call my partner pimp, ask him. He ain't know, but I know I ain't been no fucking Selma because I, I'm telling you, I would have went to the bread, bro. You know oh yeah, so I would have went to the bread. But give me a picture on the, the bread. The next time yeah. you look, the next time you in Montgomery, you in Montgomery, yeah. or going through that way to hit Selma, ain't number thirty more minute. I gotta go. You gotta gotta bread. Go. But Selma just like being on some real shit. Selma just it, it teach you how to appreciate shit, and it show you the grind to get like like uphill. It like I ain't just getting Atlanta just by waking up like oh, I'm in Atlanta. I had to start. Process. Selma showed me how to get that Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas in Selma bought me to Atlanta. Selma nigga get money too, so like. Well, but what, listen, not to cut you out, but but you saying that like everything got me prepared to come up here. It's a lot of niggas who from these small towns, they don't never leave. What was your inspiration or what was in your head to be like, I ain't finna keep staying here, like, I'm gonna get the fuck on. It was my niggas, the niggas I was hanging with, Church Street, Mafia. Mm -hmm. See, them niggas, they was, they was some niggas from a small town. They, they always try to do some the next level shit. They, they, they know Montgomery, the next city to sell them. So, like, Montgomery is, like, two hours from Atlanta. So, people in Montgomery kick the shit like Atlanta. People in Montgomery had the car, night car, Bentley. You know, they had shit going back, too. Like, you know, Beamers and shit. They were popping that shit with the jewelry. So, like, sell them niggas that go to Montgomery. My nigga, they'll see how they living. They take me to Montgomery when they go to Montgomery. Like, I'm the young nigga. like, fuck that. We're going to pay whatever to get the nigga in the club. We got to spend a thousand dollars. This young nigga getting in the club. That's how, how you was. How you were. Man, we 14, 15, 16 years old. You supposed to be 18. <coughs> no, you supposed to have to be 21 back then. In the but like the money talk. Yeah, yeah. Nobody better turn out five and ten thousand dollars. <coughs> and my nigga made sure I'm in that bitch. So it went from going to sell to my grandma to her. He went right to the A with us. go get a zip perk. Then when nigga was first smoking perk, $50 a gram. Like nigga, somebody smoking his eye. Nah, who's smoking perk? $50 a gram. We come drove. to Herbert we, drove. we come to the A, nigga. We paying six hundred six fifty for zips. Thanks, but it was the one. Yeah, yeah. You take it back to the country. We the only niggas in the city smoking purple weed. That's crazy. We you can't tell us. Y'all the first nigga in Seattle bringing that shit back. We smoking that purple Turn weed. Turn them on to, the, them on to the, that shit. Real nigga. I'm talking about when the shit was in Jaw Ivan. You know about Ivan? Yeah. Nigga, motherfucker, yeah. Irene. Yeah. yeah. Shit like that. Yeah, yeah. They the drug. They, they was, was that. They was yeah. that shit. Yeah. But like we all, them niggas, them niggas showed me the neck level shit. So I always, when I wrote anywhere they went, I said when I get old enough, to drive and have me some money, I'm going back to these places. I don't remember this shit. Montgomery, Atlanta, Marietta, you, you know Union City, Riverdale. I'm, every time I come to the A, bro, I'm seeing highways and shit. You know what I'm saying? Streets. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn that bankhead. Or, 
Damn, they got down D4L studio on Bankhead. Crucial. Damn, nigga, that got down 112. We hit downtown. I was seeing this shit back in the day. Belver room. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, when I get my mind up, I'm going to do this shit. Man, shout out to your big homies for, um, for, for first, taking you up under their wings, seeing your ambition. You know what I'm saying? And then taking you to see shit, dog. Giving you, giving you the, um, the drive to want to see shit too, dog. You know what I'm saying? And that's for all y'all. If you got a big homie, make sure that he has something that you look up to. And it ain't always money. You know what I'm saying? It's the experience of life. Teaching you what to do and what not to do. So Make sure your big homie can put you in a better situation. Make sure you can learn from him. If your big homie ain't got no car, and he asks you to come pick him up, you need to find you a new big homie. So you know what I'm saying? If your big homie ain't got no businesses, he ain't got he ain't got them getting no good money, or if he is trapping, if he ain't looking out for his fam and take care of his mama and his sisters and all them kids, find you another big homie. It's sign. It's not just the money. You know what I'm saying? And if if you're you, gonna be around, nigga, learn from him. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? And and that and that shit changed my life. Cause like my folks, my mama ain't never. T- bro, I ain't go to the beach till I was in my mid twenties, twenty five, twenty four. My first time going to the beach. This ain't Miami. This like Panama. This, you know, close shit. Yeah. We was like, we was stuck. You feel what I'm saying? We thinking it like shit. Just coming to the A, going to the mall or something one time. Mm-hmm. Nigga, we. I remember you go in Lennox. Ain't, 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 you ain't see a lot of niggas in Lennox at one time back nah, in the day. Nah, nah, nah. Nigga, designer was always in that bitch. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. Like, everywhere. You feel yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So me, I'm just going back. I ain't even bought no designer. Just to tell my nigga, I just saw the shit. Boy, I got down, saw nigga Young Jock and got down Neiman Market, nigga. Like, them, you know, Gorilla's old new pop. Yeah, yeah, Boy, I yeah. seen Franchise Boy. Yeah. Them boys in Lennox. Them nigga like, for real. Boy, them nigga the whole time, like, boy, her, so Franchise Boy. Young job, the real is old. All the same day up the mall. Boy, that, that nigga doing it. I ain't had to buy shit to do it back then. You ain't had to spend no money to do it. You just yeah. need to be around yeah, it. that shit, facts. And my nigga kept me around that shit. Facts. So, like, that that led to me I always want to go bigger. My nigga did bigger shit. I got to do bigger shit. You going to forever do the same shit if your nigga doing small shit. Yeah. You want a small ass crew. Yeah, that's crazy. Thinking about that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's like, now, I mean, hey. You know what I'm saying? Like, the A, people don't know, like, this way it going down there. Not just spending the money, but, like, this way you bump the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. This way you meet the motherfucker that you been, I've been this watching. It's a network. Bro, I'm sitting there to you. I used to watch you on 106 and Paul. Mm-hmm. You know, BET. Like, damn, that Paul ain't no. Nigga, I'm up here with Paul ain't no now. Yeah, yeah. And I still appreciate this shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you yeah. somebody. That's the ambition, dog. Listen. Even though, like, you, like, bro, like, ain't even about the money. Like, just seeing you come from where I come from. And you did that shit, telling your story. I saw, you know, your interviews and shit. How you saying, like, where you from? How this shit started? Mm-hmm. I've been doing the same shit. So I know you did. I'm like, damn, I can do that shit too. Yeah, yeah. Feel me? So it's like, yeah. now, like, it's up. Like, I ain't letting up. I don't nah. care what the net nigga doing. I don't care how the net nigga sound. I don't care who bought the new away. I'm just working my move. When you nah, see you me. you ride, though. You ride, though. For real, you ride, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what. I'm, <clears throat> I'm one of them people, everybody know me. I'm going to keep this shit 100. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, I feel like that's why I got the name that I do now. Cause I feel how I feel and I stand on what I feel. And when I feel what I feel, I got a reason behind it. You might not agree with my reason, but that's cool. We can agree to disagree. And I'm the type of nigga, I'm gonna tell a nigga like, bro, you all right? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, for sure. We need to work with this, you got down, need to do, 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 do. Like, I been, like, you been dropping shit for the past few years. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see the growth. I see the growth in the look. I see the growth in the sound. I see the beat selection. Like, you ride, though, dog. I, I say, you know what I'm, t- I'm going to tell you what, bro. Like, I always keep my LJ. Even when I don't drop, I still hear the new sound, the new way. You got to stay on tune, bro. Like, you can't be having that 2010 sound, 2021. Yeah. You got to learn how to adapt. You got to learn how to adapt to this shit, the, the new way. I'm going to still put the old shit with the new shit and mix my shit on it. I ain't trying to sound like another nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So, it's yeah. like... I always drop, but like, I just need the money. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking like shit. Instead of me hanging with some niggas I don't know, trying to get them to put money behind me, or me trying to jump in the click, a nigga I don't really fuck with, and just get my own money up. It might take two, three years or a year or two, but like, once it's up, I'm going up. Hey, do you motherfucking hear that, man? So, like, now. Man, let, hold on, let this shit sink in real quick, eh? Let, the, let this shit so. fucking sink in real quick, dog. <laughs> we ain't finna let you skip that shit back, dog. Lady, let that shit marinate. My dog said, I ain't trying to sit around on niggas who I really don't know to get to invest in me. You know what I'm saying? 
My dog said, "Got down. I ain't, I ain't got down trying to jump in no clicker, nigga. That I really don't know and really don't fuck with to get on, nigga. I got my motherfucking money up. Did that shit my goddamn self. Absolutely. Listen to that shit, dog. I don't give a fuck how long it take you to get to the next step. I don't give a fuck how what you got to do to get there. You know what I'm saying? Take them steps, dog. Don't stop, you, you bro. be rewarded with the work that you put in, dog. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Nigga got to take that shit like that. Have the attitude. A lot of niggas don't have that attitude, dog. Absolutely. A lot of these niggas be popping. It's, it be niggas who be popping already." And they on their little side of town. Popping like a motherfucker. Got the whole side of town fucking with them. Then they sign they sign to a nigga with a little name. And they stop their work. And even they immediately think that the nigga they signed to supposed to start doing all this work with them and putting them on the yeah. radio doing this. And niggas stop working the hood no more, bro. You, gotta, you see what I'm saying? Because niggas don't have ambition they self, dog. They don't have that same shit you got, dog. You got to, uh, like, bro, you got to know, like, every day I wake up, I always think about where I started it. So, like, I remember, like, nigga, no car. My girl had to pick me up. Nigga, no license, no money. Nigga, you had to stand with different folk. So I always be like, I got to handle my business. I got to give me some more money. I got to stay out of the way because I got. I'm, I'm trying to go to the top. And trouble, if you're trying to get to the top, trouble ain't going to get you, though. Thanks. That bullshit, that op shit, that all they want to, you know, be gangster shit. They don't go with the top. Nah, you, you can't, you can't. Let me tell you something, man. If you're on the street, dog, and you're trying to do music, you can't get no money beefing. Hell no. Nah. You see what I'm saying? You can't get no money beefing. You see what I'm saying? And, and I know niggas slide now. These young niggas slide. I, I, can't, I can't take it away from them. They, yeah, like, so. These young niggas get busy. But the difference is between us and, and that back then, dog, is that we slid for a reason. So... You see what I'm saying? Family. And, 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 and when you slide against some niggas who sliding, it's real pressure. You can't get no money. You can't sit in your trap spot and trap. Because as soon as they see your cars out there and Jay's coming, they finna slide on your spot. They finna you see what I'm saying? And, 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 and it's going to be back and forth. And when it's real beef, ain't, I, ain't, I, I, ain't, I can't feel good about trap. I ain't getting no fucking ain't money. Got, nigga, got, I'm finna slide got, on you. you. It's every night, every day. You see what I'm saying? You can't get no money. You got to understand it. If you beefing. People that spend money with you don't even want to pull up. Hell no, nah, nigga. Kind of might be in this middle of some shit. They dog. thinking about, man, I ain't finna die trying to pull up and get you no know, Zaza. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I'm straight. I'm just gonna fuck with Shout and Shout and Cool over though. Facts. Like, you gotta know that. And then, like, motherfuckers don't realize, like, bro, we black, bro. Like, we, most of our families ain't have shit. So, like, me, I always say, if I can get in a position to help people around me, my brother, my sister, you know what I'm saying, my kids, I'm not fucking that up, bro. I'm not fucking it up trying to be gangster. I've been from the hood. I love the hood forever, but like, this shit is, is the move, taking care of these folks. Facts. Talk to them. Like, when we, once you get something, you got to keep that. And you got to get bigger. Because like, once we gone, but nobody going to treat your folks like you going to treat them. Hell no, nah, boy. Talk fucking to them, dog. Talk to them, dog. Like, bro, like, I know certain shit I don't do for folks. Nobody else is going to do it for them. And like I want them, I want to see them for happy. That would make me happy. I blow my money, I hit the club, I do my shit, you know what I'm saying? Get dripped down and shit, but like seeing seeing my folks. But ain't they like taking care of no, ain't they, ain't nah. they like seeing one of your people in the position that needs some help and they stress about bro, it. Bro, all my niggas right now. Like, I need this, and you like here, yeah, and there ain't no pressure. And it's just to see their face and see how happy they bro. is. You see what I'm saying? Like that shit prices, dog. One day, bro, I was I was in Alabama. You know, some, some out of my family, you know, like, they just, I ain't know, you know, how they were doing or what they were doing. I shot them all, like, 50 bucks a piece, like, three on them. You know, boom, 50, 50, 50. Like, the 50, the look that they had on their face when I gave them the 50, it, it meant a lot. They were happy. They appreciated. It. And it was like, it wasn't like how it was, like, it was pretty, like, 50 dollars, nigga, like, what, 50 dollars, man? <laughs> Shit, you ain't lying. Where I'm from, bro, like, <laughs> Yeah, you lying, Motherfucker, chair that 50. That 50, you can always go back and lay on somebody's couch. You can always hit them up, come get me. Because, like, it love. You know what I'm saying? It mean a lot. Because a lot of motherfuckers won't give a motherfucker $50 where I'm from. A lot of motherfuckers ain't got $50. And let me, let me, let me say this, too, on the note that you're saying this. Because I know it's going to be a lot of people, a lot of young nigga, old nigga going to see this shit. And they're going to be like, hell yeah, because I be doing the same thing. But I'm real nigga. But I'm a real nigga. I say this. When you when you saying something about being a real nigga, 
and you adding money, it's not always the same thing. Nah, hell nah. And money, money makes giving people money or something doesn't always make you real. If you're in a position to give a nigga some money that don't hurt you, it's just a good gesture. It don't make you real. Nah. It's just that's a good gesture. You see what I'm saying? Because if that make you real, every time a regular person pull up on the end of the expressway and got down give a jail motherfucker dollar, that mean he a real nigga. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Every nigga who gives somebody a jail dollar ain't no motherfucking real nigga. So, so you can't say that the money equate that. Now, if, if you look out for somebody, dog, and you don't have to, or that ain't your brother, your sister, your mother, or something like that, and you look out out of the kindness of your heart because you want to see somebody do better, now, that's real nigga shit. So I like to say, when you gauge a nigga as a real nigga, don't put no money into it. Nah, then see nah. the morals behind the money, and then that's going to tell you if a nigga a real nigga or not. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Man, like, that real nigga phrase, bro, like, it is, they just throw it around. You know, everybody a real nigga now. Hey. Everybody a goat. Everybody big homie. Nobody don't want to be little homie no more. Nobody don't want to be the store runner. Nobody don't want to hold the dough. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just want to be the nigga that just... I'm the nigga. Mm. Bro, it's all right to be like, you know, that real nigga. That one yeah. nigga that just. Play, I'm saying me, dog. Play the I ain't saying none of that shit. It I'm saying me. Yeah. I do. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you can, game, bro. Yeah, you can play the game, bro. You can be that nigga to play the game. You can be that nigga that you pull up with the red load. That's who win, bro. That's who win. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The gangster nigga die go to jail. For sure. The hustlers get killed or go to jail. I said, like, I call. It's the same difference, dog. To me, a real nigga, bro. You a nigga that just like. Every time you go around anybody, it's never a bad vibe. Like, like, it's never. I don't care if you're in a room with 30 killers, your vibe change the whole everything. And that, yeah, like, that's just like how you were like, the moment you pulled up, I ain't like, it's a lot of times I done met niggas, and my first time meeting them, like, I ain't like their vibe. I just didn't like, I ain't want to never go back around them niggas. Yeah. I don't even want to fuck with nobody that fuck with them. But like, you just, you feel that bad shit. Mm -hmm. You know when a real nigga show up, and you just can feel it like, what that nigga, that, that, that nigga. Like, he on this shit, you feel what I'm saying? He a real nigga, he, he, it's all good. Everybody want to speak to him. Everybody, like, you know what I'm saying? He showing love to everybody. Like, certain nigga pull up, show love to two, three niggas. Yeah, keep pushing, look at it, everybody, walk it by. It ten niggas. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. A real nigga on everybody. Good. Even if you don't know yeah. Like, yeah. just on some real shit, like, we just got to, like, being for got to learn, like, bro, we, we, we trying to get to the top of him. Let me ask you this, Dan. Everybody got a story behind their name. How did you get E Heard? Like being for real, E Heard, my real name. Like I don't, you know, I don't tell folks. You ain't gotta say your real name, but real she said that's your real name though. All that real yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. E that you heard your last name. Yeah, E that's your first initial. Yeah. So you should, you should roll with you. You know, what I'm saying? Check my okay. neighborhood. Like they used to call me like growing up like Tutu. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm, I'm trying to be a big dog. Tutu, that don't sound like a big dog. Yeah, yeah. That sound like a little nigga. Yeah. I don't want to be called that no more. Yeah. So me and OJ talking shit one day in the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Teenage, she like, I'm gonna call you this, I'm gonna call you that. Now, I'm calling you her. I'm like, I like that you heard shit. Yeah. It always sound like some money. Like, yeah. like but he heard. And it's you, and it and it's and it really me. Like, yeah, it's really you. It really me, it like fit, I fit. just know ever since then. Just he heard. He heard. Whole city know he heard. Montgomery, he heard. The nigga know. Atlanta. Yeah, that's the name, but that's the name know. that you hear. It ain't no sound like nobody else. Nigga, nigga gonna know, you know like, that nigga, yeah. that, that boy he heard ain't from him. Yeah, yeah. The boy he heard and did it again. Hey, you talking about? <laughs> Listen, now that we in the apartment, right? You know what I'm saying? Down there, Sam, you been doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? 12, 13, been to the game. Give me a crazy in the apartment story or on the block story. I, just give me a crazy story for, for in the apartment. Man. I done been, bro. I done been in a spot jigging like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Like real chop shit. Whamming that motherfucker. Ground though. We no, we weren't selling, you know, big shit. We young nigga. They want smoke. Shit, we got that smoke. Yeah. Whamming the motherfucking pot. Whamming the motherfucker. Fucked around. The night all the neighbors complaining. The neck though, they they tired of the house smelling like that perk. Yeah. The neck, don't they, other than them, they tired, you coughing in the parking lot when they pull up. Yeah. So everybody at me. I'm staying with my partner, though, he work all day. Mm -hmm. I don't work, I'm just over here kicking shit, smoking, girl pulling up. 
I got the best shit you can smoke in town. Boy, on that nigga. Fucked around, got real high one day. Neighbor called me like, one of my cool neighbor, like, boy, the, it's a police on every side of your apartment. You in the apartment? In the apartment. I got the shit sitting right there. I'm just finna smoke some more. I'm already high. I just used to smoke all day. Yeah. She made that call. I fucked around, looked out the front, two, three up the side, two, three over the, the back door. Everywhere. They covered the whole little apartment. I can't do shit. What'd you do? <laughs> I'm thinking like, what is the last shit I got? Mine ain't really up right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to be well, that nigga, so yeah, I'm staying yeah. going broke. Yeah, yeah. But I got this, this my weed. You two, three little zip. My flesh it, because they outside. They leave, I'm still broke. I'm like, man, <laughs> fuck no. I'm not, man, I'm not going broke. Hell nah. I went to looking around. I'm thinking walls, garbage can. I'm like, nah, they're going that motherfucker. I done fucked around and shoved the shit in a vent. I have a vent. Like, deep in that motherfucker. Like, I, I got to get this shit back when they, if they come in there, bitch. You feel what I'm saying? I, I'm hoping they ain't, but I know they is. Mm -hmm. Man, I fucked around. And went to, you know, spraying shit. Yeah, you know how it go? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell they yeah. try funky. Yeah. Man, I fucked around and all I heard was doo 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 doo. The bitch coming in that motherfucker. Boo, boo. Come in that motherfucker. Soon they come in, they telling me got that like they went to complain about me, whoop do did all that type of shit, you know whatever whatever. And shit, I'm already know what's going on, but like man, I'm high as a motherfucker. So they search the motherfucker. They, they about to, but they really can't. Yeah. Now the one that was outside, they still in the car. He just the one by the back door. Yeah. I had to let them in when they, you know, hit the door. Yeah. Shit. When they um. Somebody calling them back outside. Be crazy. Some more shit saved me. Yeah. Some more niggas I know around the corner have some shit going on. And like it was way bigger, bigger than, bigger this, than shit. this shit. And it made them just say, shoo. It made the motherfucker get the fuck on. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. And then in the meeting that day after that, I cut that whole apartment off. Time to move. It's time to go smoke apartment. Man, meet me in the motherfucking apartment. For real. Man. Hey, man, I want to say appreciate it for coming, dog. You know what I'm saying? You ready, Jay? Man, in the motherfucking pot, man. Oh, yeah, man. I'm sure. crazy, man. Look, I just want to say appreciate the man for pulling up. You know what I'm saying? Sharing oh, yeah. your story. You know what I'm saying? On my platform. Man, you follow know what I'm saying? me. Telling people how it is. Like I said, yeah, tell people they can follow you at, dog. Follow me, one, E Heard, E H E A R D, Instagram. E Heard. Know what you saying? see me out, fuck with me. You're a real nigga, link yeah, up. Yeah, man, link up, man. Do what it is, man. We can link in all real niggas. Real niggas united. See, that my shit. Real niggas united. And get you some money, you know style these nigga way. Real niggas link up everywhere. Unite all the real niggas. For sure. We can move out all the fake niggas and make Aye. this shit back right again. You feel me? Aye. And then we can find out who the niggas who scrawling the fence, because that's the problem. There's going to be another conversation. All you niggas who say y'all real niggas, but y'all scrawling the fence. Y'all niggas in the way, pick a side, man. But other than that, man, Another episode, man. Eat her, man. We in the motherfucking pot, man. Meet so, me in the pot, man. Hey.